Hey guys, welcome to Reds Projects. Today, we're working on the XG Ute, and I want to get the cooling system 100% done today. Uh, I tried to do that last weekend on last episode, and I put water in it, and the water came straight out the water pump. So, I got a brand new water pump, and last week I also learned of a little trick you can do to the um, thermostats to make them open earlier at a cold temperature, so I'll share that with you as well. And if all that goes well, it holds water, everything looks sweet, we'll, um, I'll wire it back up and we'll fire it up and actually run it for a decent amount of time, get some temp into it and just um, enjoy it a bit. But before we get to all that, I wanna show off um, some of the nitrous stuff that I've been doing yesterday. So I had a bit of time yesterday, so I thought I'd mount up the solenoids. So we've got the, the short line and the small solenoid is gonna be the, the first stage and then the long line and the big solenoid will be the second stage. So they both come here, they're both mounted. Purge is back here. So my feed line will come through the firewall, through the purge, it'll go under the manifold. We'll have a Y here and then have two lines running to the solenoids. So it should look pretty nice and more importantly, it should work really well. All right, so back to the cooling system. Brand new water pump ready to go on. Got gaskets and stuff. Um, before we get to that, We'll sort out thermostat. So factory LS1 thermostats, they open around. Some are higher, some are lower, but that's the, the main spec for them. I want to try and change that to 71 centigrade, 160 Fahrenheit. And the way we do that is by you pull the thermostat off the housing, which I'll do in a minute on the, in the vise and you put a tiny little shim in there. And by tiny, I mean it's freaking tiny. That's it there. I made mine out of um, a three mil drill bit. I just cut a little piece that was 2.5 mil long. So it's a little cylinder. It's um, wider than it is long, if that makes sense. And um, that will just slide into a like blind hole that's in the housing, which I'll show you all in a minute. But um, you slide that in there and it's uh, just basically opens up the um, thermostat earlier. So I'll get that on the vise, I'll get that off and I'll show you exactly how it works. There we go. God, that was a lot harder than I remember it being. All right, so I don't know how well you can see it, but in there you've got a blind hole that goes nowhere. That's where your shim goes in. And the reason it goes in there, when this heats up, this little rod at the end extends out. Now, I'm gonna show you two um, quick photos. One of them is of the thermostat at like room temperature. And the other one is it in um, uh, boiling water, straight out the kettle. And you'll see that the second photo, this is extended a long way. So it starts to make sense when you see that. So this extends out. So if you put a shim underneath this, it's gonna start extending, hit the shim, and it'll start opening earlier. Whereas before it would have to travel another two and a half mil before it gets to the bottom of the hole and um, bottoms out. So that's all it is. Um, I think if you go further than two and a half mil, um, it, kind of hangs open so that's kind of the sweet spot but um i've never tried this before i've never done it so i'm no expert i'm just going by what other people have gone off the internet all right drop him in there so i don't know how well you'll be able to see it but it's bang on the right size to fit in there All right, thermostat's ready to go. Now we're all ready to slap it all back together. So I'll set you up on a tripod and we'll put this shit back together and put some water in it.
All right, we're ready to fire it up for the second time in the car ever. And we have some luxury items this time. First luxury items are obviously a radiator and water, which is um, really helpful. Um, we've got a coolant temp sensor um, screwed in, plugged into the MSD, so we'll be able to monitor coolant temp. I actually have a switch to turn the MSD on and off instead of just putting it onto the terminal. I still have my um, starter wire as a terminal, so um, that's not that fancy at the moment. Uh, what else is new? Um, nothing really, just the velocity stack, some nitrous, which I'm not going to use, obviously. Um, still have the same jump wire for the fuel pump, but um, you got a laptop plugged in. It is um, plugged into the windscreen mounted MSD, and we've just got the taco timing and water temp, which is the main one I'm going to be keeping an eye on. So. I'm ready to fire it up. I'll set you up on a tripod. Um, I'll try and move the camera around a bit more and try and pick up some good audio because it sounds much better in person than it does um, on camera. So let's set this up, fire it up and make some noise. Oh, there we go. So I've had it running a few times now. I was just trying to run it, get it hot, get some heat cycles into it, just warm it up, cool it down, warm it up, cool it down. And we've got to about 100 degrees and I've shut it off. Um, obviously without any fans going, so the fans aren't hooked up, it's just gonna get hotter just sitting here. So um, I'm not expecting it to stay um, cool. But um, everything's working, nothing's really leaking. I just keep topping the water up, get all the air bubbles and stuff out of it. The radiator is getting hot, which is what you want. You want the engine to be hot, you want the radiator to be hot so I can transfer the heat. And yeah, it just, it starts and runs really well. So at the moment we are 48, 49 degrees. So I'll put you on the tripod here and we'll see how easy it starts. All right. All right, we're at 75 degrees-ish. Let's give it a little, little squirt. It's already on. How good is that? It just runs and idles and just perfect.
Love this thing. Geez, I love this thing. And it's not even driving, it's just sitting here free revving. So I can't wait to get the auto sorted, get a converter, get a tail shaft and drive this thing. This is gonna be so much fun to drive. It's, it's already awesome the way it is. So I, I can't wait. All right, that's about it for this episode. Really happy with how this thing's running. With a bit of temperature, it starts easy. It idles a lot nicer, it's a lot snappier, and it just seems a lot happier. So that's awesome. Cooling system's doing its job, not leaking anywhere. It's all doing what it should do. Yeah, that's where we're at so far. And a quick update, um, Tony's Monaro, that red thing that um, I did videos on uh, probably a couple months ago. Um, Tony came over today, we had a big long talk about it, and that's going on the dyno soon. So I know a few people have been asking about it and I'm really excited to see the power numbers it's gonna make. So yeah, next couple of weeks, that should be going on the dyno. So stick around for that, that's gonna be awesome. But um, it's that time of the weekend where I've made a big mess and I need to clean up. So I'm gonna call it quits now and start cleaning up. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.